I interview a lot of moms and one thing I hear over and over from them is they have a hard time figuring out a way to fit in exercise and getting motivated to do it. So I'm going to tell you how to get motivated to exercise and make it a part of your regular routine. I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior. My channel, Working Mom Warrior, is to help moms by giving you a little glimpse into the ups, downs, and hacks that moms like me and lots of other moms share. That's my YouTube channel, and this is my new vlog that I'm going to try to do regularly. I'm going to open myself up and give a glimpse into the things that have worked for me. And the thing I want to talk about today is exercise. I don't even think of it as exercise. It's something that's been part of my life for as long as I can remember, and that's bike riding. And the number one reason that I exercise on a regular basis is because I love to bike ride. Nobody asks me, have you exercised today? But everyone in my family is like, did you get your ride in? Did you get on your bike today? Because everyone knows how important that is to me. It's, it serves a lot of purposes in my life. So first of all, one of the things that it does, of course, is it helps keep me healthy. I feel like I'm getting exercise, I'm getting the blood flowing. So whenever I ride, I do try to ride for at least about anywhere from a half hour to usually an hour. But one thing that's different about my ride every day is what I'm listening to. So I take care of two things while I'm riding. When I ride, I put on headphones and I listen to either an audiobook or a podcast, usually an audiobook, because an audiobook is something that's ongoing and I wanna hear, if I'm listening to a book that I really like, then I wanna hear the next chapter and the next chapter. Now some people are into fiction and that's fine. I listen to a lot of nonfiction, almost primarily. A lot of the things I listen to are motivational, they're things that help me with something I'm working on in my life, just anything that inspires me, that gives me a glimpse into another person's life, especially someone that may have things going on like I do, like a working mom. And that's why I started my YouTube channel. And that's another reason that I look forward to my bike ride is I feel that after I'm done, even though I may be a little tired, I'm inspired to kind of keep going for my day. It's definitely a good mental health break. I bike ride because not just is it good for me physically, but it's definitely good for me mentally. It's a chance to just check out have my own time, usually an hour, when I can listen to a book that I want, when I can ride through nature. I love riding through the forest preserves, when I can be outside. I love feeling the sunshine, but even on a cloudy day, or sometimes even a day when there's a little bit of rain threatening, I'll get out on my bike. I won't usually go out if it's raining, but if there's maybe the threat of rain or I think I can get my ride in before it rains and I happen to get rained on before I get back, that's okay. Occasionally I've been caught in thunderstorms and then I may call for a ride, but getting a little wet, no big deal. So the number one reason that I exercise regularly is I look forward to it. It's something I enjoy. And for years I've been saying, I'm gonna go to a gym, I'm gonna start working out with weights, I'm gonna start doing these other things, I'm gonna to go to classes regularly, and I never get to those things because I'm not really looking forward to them as much as I am to my bike ride. In fact, I'm not really looking forward to them at all. I'm thinking of them as something I should do, something that's good for me. My bike ride, I don't think about it. I think of that as something I look forward to. I'm bummed on a day I don't get out on my bike. And I do live in the Chicago area, so during the winter, it's hard. I would say from about November till about March, I may be out on my bike once every week or two, and maybe not for even a month or two at a time. Because if it's below 40 degrees, I don't go out on my bike. Maybe that's wimpy to some hardcore cyclist, but that's me. And for years I've been saying, okay, then I will just get on a stationary bike. I have an old stationary bike. I got it for free. It's not very good, but it's the same idea, right? Get on the seat, pedal, listen to my books, but it's not the same to me. There's one very big reason why it's not the same to me, and that's because there's no deadline. One of the main reasons I get on my bike every day is because I'm constantly looking and seeing how late is it in the day? What time is sunset today? Okay, in the summer that's great because it's not sunset until 8, 8.39. I do not want to be riding at night. It's not pleasant to me, it's not safe, I don't want to be riding at night. So I want to ride during the day and I am not a morning person. And usually when my day starts, I'm just like up and running. A lot of times I'm sitting at my desk, I work from home and I'm working before I even have a chance to put my clothes on. I'm still in my pajamas. I try not to do that, but sometimes I do. 
And so bike riding is something that I know there is a specific deadline, sunset, and I've got to get on my bike before it's sunset. And I want to get my full ride in, my full hour. So I'm always pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. I should take my break now. I usually start about three o'clock thinking about my ride. Okay, I've been working for a long time. I can take a break and I can come back and do more work, but I just want to finish up this thing and this thing and this thing. And then the phone rings and then an email comes in and then, oh my gosh, I have to get this done before the end of the day. And I can't do it after my ride. I have to do it now. So yes, there's a lot of things that interfere, but as the day is going on and on, and of course it's better in the in the spring and in the summer when it's not getting dark so early in the fall i have a problem but i do make sure i get out there before it gets dark so i would recommend to you if you want to have something that you're going to do regularly that's good for you that's exercise find something you like that you really look forward to like really like not just oh i know this is good for me but i really enjoy this and it may take you trying a lot of different things but try different things until you find something that you say oh this is awesome this is as good as sitting down with a friend and having a glass of wine this is as good as date night with my husband this is as good as a lazy saturday with my kids or we can go out and hang out at the pool something that you look forward to that you don't want to miss and you will force yourself to stop what you're doing and get out now if your kids are younger and you're the one that's in charge of taking care of them and there's nobody else that can it is kind of tricky you don't really want to pay somebody to watch your kids while you go bike ride but i had a trailer attached to my bike and so for years i would just pull my kids along on my ride so not that you're going to do what i do so there are places out there where you can bring your kids and put them in the gym daycare while you go and work out it doesn't matter what your workout is if it's a, if it's walking around your neighborhood if it's walking around the mall because you like seeing the latest styles if it's going to a exercise class if it's working out with somebody maybe it's it's finding a trainer that you really like and you want to see more <laughs> you're single and this is a great way to see him who knows what the reason is but find something that you look forward to and then give yourself a deadline if you have a class that you know starts at a certain time you're just gonna have to quit work at five o'clock to get to that six o'clock class because you know there's gonna be traffic and you know you got to change so find something with a deadline rather than just i'm going to go to the gym today or i'm going to go to the gym later on or i'm going to go to the gym tomorrow it's too easy to keep putting off so that's my tip for exercising regularly we all have different hacks that have worked for us and i'm so interested to talk to other moms and find out what their hacks are and share with you some of mine that's the point of my channel so subscribe to working mom warrior click the red subscribe button click on the next video to get more inspiration and information about how to make your life better as a working mom because everything that you're doing is so important and i look forward to seeing you next time